In this video, we are going to explain why a 115H is not recommended for use on hills. Before we start into this video, please take the time to subscribe to our channel if you have not done so already. This way, you will not miss out on any of our future automower videos. Since first being introduced in 2019, the Husqvarna 115H automower has been a popular model with homeowners due to its lower price, its availability at more locations, it's a high cut mower, and it's a fairly simple machine to operate. But it does have one setback, and that is its ability to maneuver up and down inclines. Husqvarna has a 17 degree maximum slope inside the installation rating on the 115H automower. All of the other automowers in Husqvarna's lineup in North America have a maximum slope inside the installation rating of 22 degrees or higher. So that's a pretty big difference between the 115H and the other models. But why? The answer to this question can be found in the Husqvarna 115H Automower Workshop Manual. In the section about sensors, it tells you right here, there's a note, there are no sensors for collision in the product. Collision detection is registered from the power variation of the wheel motors. Then directly under that note, the tilt sensor. The tilt sensor is a sensor on the main board that detects the product's inclination in relation to the horizontal plane. The X angle indicates front to rear inclination and the Y angle indicates left to right inclination. The value from the tilt sensor is used among other things to correct the speed of the drive wheels when mowing in steep slopes. What that means is the 115H automower does not use these joystick style sensors found on the 300, 400, and 500 series of automowers. The way these joystick sensors work is when the automower runs into something, the top cover on the automower rocks back and forth or side to side, activating these joystick sensors and saying it just collided with something. On the 115H, when it runs into something, the body and the cover do not talk to each other. Instead, it is all felt by the extra energy applied to the wheel motors trying to push past the object that it just ran into. Now, you're probably wondering what this has to do with the 115H being able to climb a hill. Well, we're going to show you here. Uh, we did a little experiment where we set the 115H up to run up a steeper than recommended incline while we had it connected through Bluetooth to the AutoCheck 3 program and you're going to see what happens with the wheel motors as it's trying to climb this steeper hill than it's recommended to climb. All right, here goes the 115H, and it's trying to climb up this incline, and there it just stopped. No reason, nothing in front of it. It just stopped. Now it's trying to back up. You'll see the back end of the 115H kind of bob up and down. It stops again. It's going to go forward here, and it's going to try to back up again and you can see there from the auto check program that's what was going on with these wheel motors as it was doing all this on the hill here here's an easier to see view of the auto check 3 program and what it was telling us that was happening with the mower as it was playing around on the hill there you can see these sharp spikes in uh, the power uh, being sent to the wheel motors the current and the speed and all of these things combined there, when you have that happen, it was going up that hill and there was nothing in front of it, but because of all that extra needed power to the wheel motors, the mower thought that it ran into something. It thought that there was a collision. So it just stopped in the middle of that hill because of the high current draw on those wheel motors trying to get up that hill. Now, yes, that hill was steeper than what was recommended, but... The other thing is you have to consider your tilt sensor in this too because it was getting higher than what it was supposed to get from the front end to the back end and it was trying to compensate with the wheel motors for that. So again, your wheel motors are what is going to tell it that it is in a collision with something. So you have all that stuff working against the mower as it's trying to go up a hill. So as you can probably imagine, it is the same effect on the 115H when it's coming down a steep incline. Here you can see it tries to compensate by going diagonal a bit, but it runs into the boundary wire we have there. And there it just caught itself trying to back up. It bobbed that back end up in the air, thought it was tilted. 
it stopped and then started to free roll down the hill till it caught itself, stopped again, and had to think about it for a little bit as to what it was doing and where it was going. There we go again, a little bit of a bob, free roll, and it's going to stop and think about what it's doing, and it'll start going again. So now we went through this whole process to get everything set up and tried over and over and over again to get everything timed right with the mower going up the hill, with auto check recording the data, and getting it all videoed at the same time. The ironic part to that is, here we have the mower running around, we stopped what we were doing, the mower is just running around in the yard, we hear a thud, turn around, and here is the 115H ran into the one leg on the tripod we were using. And as you see here, the front wheels are just spinning away. It's going nowhere because the front wheels are spinning because it caught that tripod leg just right to pick it up just a tiny bit. The front wheels are spinning. It's not sensing any resistance, so it doesn't know there's a collision. Now this mower is going to vibrate just enough to slide down that leg of the tripod to where those front wheels are going to grab the ground and then it's going to sense that resistance on those wheels and know there's a collision and then back up and go a different direction. Now you should also keep in mind that even if you do install one of these 115H auto mowers in an area where you have an incline that is less than that recommended 17 degrees by Husqvarna, if the grass in that area gets really tall and thick and heavy, the front bumper of the auto mower will drag on that and that is going to cause extra current to be sent to the wheel motors and it will trigger that collision sensor and think that it's running into a, a solid object rather than just pushing against the grass. Now, eventually it will figure that out and it will go past that. But, you know, it might take a while to get that area mowed because it's just going to keep going back and forth thinking it's running into an object when it's just the extra resistance from the heavy grass. Now, one other thing here noted by Husqvarna is that the 115 using the current draw system from the wheel motors to sense a collision is less reliable in slippery conditions than the magnetic sensors on the joysticks. So anytime you have anything that's going to cause these wheels to slip or have to turn harder or faster or anything like that, you have the potential for setting off the tilt sensor or the collision sensor system on the 115H. So there you go. That is why it is not recommended to use the 115H in an area with steep inclines or even moderate inclines in most cases. Yes, they'll do it sometimes. Yes, they'll do it in perfect conditions. Even the hill we showed you where the 115H went partway up and stopped and backed up, we had a couple times where it actually just went the whole way up it, no problem. But again, it's got to be perfect conditions. And obviously, it's not going to work there all the time because we showed you it failing. We hope that this video has been helpful to all of you out there looking to purchase a 115H auto mower or who have already purchased a 115H auto mower and you're wondering why you're having these issues with inclines in the mowing area on your property. The 115H auto mower is a good, reliable robotic lawn mower for a property less than half an acre that is fairly flat and is not a complex layout. Just like with any other robotic mower, whether it's an auto mower or some other brand, the performance of the machine is going to be based on the installation of the machine. This means following all the manufacturer's guidelines and specifications for inclines, slopes, corridors, obstacles, and anything else in the mower's working area. We thank you for watching our video. If you haven't done so, please be sure to subscribe to our channel. And if you have any further questions or comments about the 115H or other automowers, please feel free to leave comments on this video or you can contact us at the email listed here in the video, roboticmowerservices at gmail.com. This is also the email you can contact us with for all your parts needs for Husqvarna automowers. Thank you again for watching. We greatly appreciate your support.